Hey, Jared, I know you guys got AK and, and Mike Thomas back, but uh, Deontay was uh, played a huge role for you guys today. Um, how big was Deontay today? Uh, just uh, it seemed like he made a lot of catches on third downs and just uh, making guys miss, that sort of thing. Uh, he was huge. In, in, in both phases of the game, he was huge for us. Um, <clears throat> I think he was seven for seven. Uh, just came out involved in places where we needed him. Drew was able to find him early and just kept hitting them throughout the games. And that's huge for us. Next one's from Ed Daniels. Hey, Jared, uh, slow start. Any any thoughts on why it maybe took you guys a little while uh, to get going? Were you concerned at any point? Um, that's just how the game goes. Um, when you're in it, uh, you, of course, it's not how you want to start. Of course, it's not how you want to be in the game operating. Uh, but, you know, that's not something – the concern is not something that we really worry about when we out there playing. It's just about making the next play on to the next play and continue to push it forward. Next one's from Nick Underhill. Jared, was there anything you guys did, your protections or anything, to, to get Drew a little bit more time? It felt like there was a lot of pressure in the first half, and then the second half there's a little bit more time. Uh, for, for the offense to operate? Well, we were worried about Khalil Mack and Robert Quinn the whole game. Uh, we knew that going into the game, what type of pass rushes they had, and we knew that they that Drew was going to need some extra time and extra help. So we kind of uh, figured that going into the game, not really much changes during the game. It's just we knew that going into the week, and that's how our game plan went. Next one's from Catherine Terrell. So Jared, I'm just wondering if you've ever played with anyone that can get under opposing players' skin like CJ seems to be able to. <laughs> I keep asking him what he keep doing. But, uh, I mean, he's clearly a huge DB for somebody who's came in since last year at the, at the nickel spot and just locked up a lot of guys. So he's playing really well for us. I don't know what he says to opposing DBs to get under their skin, but I know I hate to play him. In all seriousness, do you guys feed off his energy at all? Because he seems like he's a guy that just has endless amounts of energy no matter what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just it's not only him, it's the whole defense as a whole. When we see our defense balling out out there on the field, uh, that, that, that fuels us. And uh, those guys bring that juice, and that's huge for us. Whenever they make a big hit or a big stop, that motivates us offensively.